Hi guys, it's me, Boog. And Dad. Oh, right here. Right. And today we're going to be reviewing Darth Vader's castle. Dun, dun, dun. And yes. Nina has joined us. We today. have the Lego version of Darth Vader's castle. From and Star Plan. <clears throat> Well, yes, yes. To give a to be full, to give a be full, uh, fully honest and disclosure here, this is actually not um, a Lego product. This is one that we ordered from uh, AliExpress. Yeah. Uh, Boog, if you will pass over the instructions here. Uh, yes, and, as we could see, um, uh, all the ones that you call uh, Star Wars are so incorrect. It's actually called Star Plan. Yeah. So. yeah. And, and, and actually, we ordered this a couple of years ago. We've had this in a box yeah, for yeah, a while. And Dad, just, but and Dad has just been too... And I would forget this is kind of what they come up with. The set number does match the same as Legos. But uh, the instruction book, of course, you get this is made by Le Pen. Um, and Darth Vader's, have to, Darth Vader's head is chopped off. Yeah, and of course they use the great logo Star Plan, which is <laughs> absolutely hysterical. Uh, but other than that... It's identical to the Lego version. And also, actually, um, it's kind of weird. They actually show the minifigs on the instructions. Yeah, minifigs are up here on the instructions. And, um, Dad, we've forgotten the... Uh, yes, the TIE Fighter. So, um... I'll go get that while Dad is... Right. So, yeah, so anyway, this is Lego's... I mean, um, Vader's Castle. I... I was ordering some other stuff from them... And I think I just added this on. It was like 40 bucks at the time. Um, and, and this was one of those bills where I could I could live without. Um, I'd never seen it in person. So I thought, well, it's kind of cool. And I was like, for 40 bucks, I'd go for it. I probably was not going to buy it, uh, you know, from Lego at the full price. Just wasn't something that I thought was, you know, we absolutely had to have. Um, I think this set was a little over $100 when... Uh, Lego was making it, but after getting it and putting it together, uh, I'm really impressed. This is a really cool set. Um, I think maybe uh, I can't find it, so maybe um, maybe now that the Obi Wan show just just finished up, you know, and this this castle's featured a lot in that, kind of makes it a little more maybe important. But uh, I really love this set after putting it together. It's uh, it's it's way more than I thought it would. Maybe um, get a Black Series version. Yeah, it's it's uh it, it's great, and the minifigs are good, uh, so uh, I have nothing bad to say about it. Um, well, I don't know if you're it. familiar with these Asian sets. You know, like I said, this one's called Le Pen. I think their companies change names quite frequently, uh, probably to avoid the lawsuits. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, honestly, we built a lot of these. I mean, we're not we, we still buy a lot of Lego too. But, you know, there's some sets that they discontinue, you just can't get, or that the price difference is just so outrageously different that it just doesn't make any sense, you know, not to, to especially on the really large sets, not to go this route. Um, because, uh, like I said, it, 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 you do save a bundle, and in the end of the day, you know, it, once it's built, uh, it looks identical, you so know? So, basically, I feel like the only way you're going wrong with going this way is... Is that it's like Lego, but it's worse than Lego. And as soon as you put it back, put it all together, it just crumbles into pieces. What, like, do, you, what do you mean? Well, if it's it's a bad fake, and and so like the only problem is is that it's uh it's uh so it's the fake is so terrible that it's basic that it looks terrible basically, and it just crumbles into pieces. Yeah, but it's not. I mean, these are these. Yeah, are, but that, but basically, basically, what I'm saying is, uh, 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 if you don't want to risk uh, spending monies on something that's terrible, then I'd say keep going for the Lego prices. But uh, but yeah, I luckily was able to find a, a good enough one to replace it. Well, everything I've ordered from this company has all been great. There's yes, been, but I'm talking about, like, other companies. Yeah, yeah, there may be other things I don't know about, but I know, like I said, from these people, you know, what you get from AliExpress, it's it's all been really, really good and pretty much the exact same. Uh, like, I, I really couldn't tell the difference. I know there's probably some experts out there that could spot a difference between this one and one that LEGO actually made, but to the Comment average down eye... down below if you're one of um, them. You, you, you just can't tell. Now, it used to be, some years ago, uh, the minifigs were the dead giveaway they used to be uh 
really goofy and really poor quality. It's just, and, this, and the video, <laughs> but, not, and you can kind of tell this one's fake because there's a few features on it that kind of gives it away. But yeah, after the bit. last couple of years, they have really stepped it up. I um, feel like the clone trooper here looks helmet design kind of looks a little weird. Though. <laughs> it does, it is. <laughs> but overall, they're 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 pretty good and light years ahead of what they used to be. Um, so. We got some really funny ones in the past, didn't we, Boo? <laughs> yeah, we were basically like the faces were like the whole entire head. <laughs> yeah, but we could deb debate this whole you know Asian Lego thing versus regular versus you know Lego Lego all day long. Everybody's got their own opinions on it, so you know do do what you think. Do you true. do what fits you? Be but, yourself. Yeah. But we wanted to just put this on the channel and kind of show you uh, what we got, and uh, you know tell you a little bit about it. Because either way, if you decide to go with the Lego version of this or the, uh, you know, AliExpress version, um, you'll know what you're getting. So anyhow, that was um, the front of the castle. Um, yeah, it looks like Dan forgot to fire up the stud shooter, so... Yeah, I w wasn't really all that uh, yeah. determined to have a stud shooter. And it's kind of in an awkward location anyway. There you go. <laughs> Thanks. All right, so... Out front here, you've got some nice little rock build on the side, because, uh, you know, this is kind of built up on the mountain of Mustafar. Yeah, it's lava, There's obviously. the lava flowing through the castle, which it does look really, really good. Um, you've got a lot of red, uh, kind of translucent bricks Good in the dear, front. Do you know where your phone is? Uh, in the kitchen, I think. Okay. Um, I'll go get that, because, uh, so we, can, we might be able to... Cool lava. Yeah, if you have some light coming through these, it does look really, really cool. I noticed that earlier when it was in the kitchen, you know, early in the afternoon. But it's getting kind of dark right here now, so it's kind of hard to show that. So we're going to turn around and get you a side view. And like I said, got some gray kind of on the side. And then down here, got kind of a wild looking little like Sith shrine type thingy. Uh, looks like some... Sith guys here on the side. Yeah, so they kind of uh, look like Emperor. So, yeah, you can pay your homage to, to the, the Sith. Yeah, or to the Emperor. Okay, uh, can't, we can actually return to this. Oh, there you go. Do that again, boo. Let's see. Uh, can't really get the phone in there all the way. You don't have to. Just shine it from the butt behind. It was coming through great. Uh, really more towards the red sections. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Uh, a, there you go. Yeah. So, yeah, those red panels look really cool. If you can't tell from the video, this thing is about, uh, I'd say, 15, 16 inches tall. Yeah, something like that. This is what it looks like next to a regular size mini fig. Yeah. Nothing particularly huge. And there's the side that we were just talking about with little Sith Shrine. Now we get to the. Side. Yeah, the other side here. Down crank here. Yeah, down below you kind of got a little workstation type thing there. The, the air conditioner. Dad's always forced to work on that. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's Mustafar. You definitely need air conditioning. Yeah, Dad almost and Dad almost uh, died several look. times while trying to build this. Thing. And over here we do have. Uh, I guess every castle needs a door, and you got a little side door there that leads in to the uh, back to tank area. I'm closing the door. I'm getting naked. Yeah. I always wanted to just walk up to Vader's, Vader's door and knock on it. Well, see Dad, what happens. Well, now, in Lego version, Dad can. Oh, <sighs> oh. <laughs> Who's there? <laughs> and now we see Vader and his We're back. back to tank. And I don't think uh, we have, we, I think we have a visitor here. I don't think he came with the set, did he, boo? So let's take him out of there. All right. And, and the uh, light, the light, is the laying on the floor for some reason? So, oh, one thing I do have to mention, down below, this would be your storage area for uh, Vader's oh. TIE Fighter. <laughs> the T-Rex just died. <laughs> oh, no. And uh, <laughs> it would normally go down here. Now, this is the one problem I have with this set. Um, and it is kind of unusual, because I, I, we built a lot of these, uh, like I said, sets from... Um, 
all expressed and not had any issues. But for some reason, I did not get all the pieces to the TIE Fighter. Yes, I very much wish I could show you what was left <laughs> of the TIE Fighter after and that. Every, everything with the castle, for the castle was there, but a lot was missing for his TIE Fighter. So we don't have that. We've got several and other we, TIE Fighters we, kind of laying around. We might, uh, so, we might show you the hilarious outcome in the, in the phone. Yeah, now. for us it wasn't really a deal breaker, but... Uh, that that is kind of the drawback. Cause and Vader was very. Sometimes when you go cheap, you get what you pay for. Yeah. <laughs> but honestly, most of the time that is a rarity. Most of the time with these things, like I said, I I've rarely, rarely had any issues. Um, and we probably bought what 15, 20 sets from them now. Something, Something like, like that. that. So yeah. Good. So anyway, that, that if you had the Tie Fighter and all the pieces to build it, it would be stored here, and then on your first floor, um, or second floor, depending on how you're counting. Uh, is the back to tank area, and that is the minifig that came with it, and he looks he looks really really good. Um, you get two Imperial Royal Guards, so we have one station right in there, um, and then of course this is that doorway there that leads outside. Very cheeks, is it good? Notice a, a secret over Just here. Cool. I think I found a secret over here. Oh yeah, you're right. I forgot about that. So here we have, I think this would be a Sith Kyber crystal waiting for someone to uh, make a lightsaber, maybe. So let's see, can we turn it back around there, big? Yeah, Faith, someone has to go collect the Kyber crystal. And of course, it has to be Vader. Anyway, back to the interior. Okay. So then we're gonna move up from the back to tank up into uh, the meditation chamber here, which is what I call it, because I don't really have a, a better word for what it is. It's just a place where Vader gets out of his suit and hangs out, I think. So, um, but yeah, it's cool. You can kind of see down in there. It's got a little, a little space for him to sit and he snaps in. And then you can actually close this down when he's in there. But it's not and, as, as cool or as cool as the other one we have. No, I don't know if we've got that one on the channel yet, but we have the uh, the, the the large version of the chamber, and it's it's really really awesome, very very cool. So this is just kind of like a very, very much a miniature version of that. And the emperor. Yeah, and you also have a little uh, hologram of old Palps himself right here. And Dad um, accidentally has taken a jump in Darth Vader's meditation chamber. Uh, that was a total accident. <laughs> and then uh, the main of top Dad, floor is the, the uh, 501st 50, 50 clone trooper. A.K.A. Dad. And, yeah, me. Um, and you, he, play, he gets this floor here uh, to provide security and run the cannon get and, at the top. And probably miss all of his enemies. No, the clone troopers were good. Oh. I thought it was kind of cool that they included a, a member of the 501st with it. Um, all right, so let's get the mini figs down here and take a look at that. And I think that'll about wrap us up. So we'll start with um, the 501st trooper. Yeah, his, his uh, I think Boog's right. His helmet is a little bit weird. But overall, he's yeah, still a good yeah, looking it, figure. It looked like they used a uh, stormtrooper. Uh, Stormtrooper head mold instead of the clone. Yeah, maybe so. Um, because Lego has made a special yeah. clone helmet. Yeah, and, and normally, I would have to see the Lego version of this to see what it looks like. I really don't know because he has, of course, solid blue arms. Normally, you know, it's just the top of their shoulders that's blue. But, yeah, they've done the print on the front. The cheapness has been seen. Really, really good. <laughs> and it's yeah. also on the back. And... Uh, let's take a look at the head. Yeah, it's, of course, this it's, would be it's dad. Uh, me. Uh, yes, the clone <laughs> trooper. It's dad. And then next we have the Imperial Guards, which I love these guys. And they look nice. I don't see anything wrong with that. You don't get any print on this. Just, it's just solid red. Just the quick, well, actually, you do get a little bit on the shirt, but the helmet oh, seems Oh, you're right. To come you can off. see a little bit on the shirt. And the only thing with these guys is, like Boot just said, the helmet is a little bit loose. It's very easy to slide off. So I'm probably going to take just a little bit of super glue and glue that at the top. But on their heads, there's no details. It's just a black uh, Lego head. And then that leads us to... Another one. Uh, which he is identical, so I'm not going to go over him again. And then we have Vader. Naked Darth Vader. Right. Ta-da! Uh, back to Tank Vader. 
And like I said, this is really awesome. You got lots of cool printing on the face. A little respirator thing here. Uh, we have to we can take that off so you get a better look at the face. And there he is. So yeah, I think the details on this is just absolutely amazing. He looks really, really uh, good to be looking so really, really terrible. <laughs> so, um, I guess he's got the silver arm, which is to represent, I guess, his robotic arm, and then the white arm. But I think, I thought they both got cut off, so I don't know. But it, it looks good. It's a great looking The uh, brute figure. leg has been seen again. Um, like I said, these, these, uh... AliExpress Lego people have come a long ways uh, with improving the minifigs. That's for sure. Uh, there. And yeah. then the star of the show. Darth! Yes. Dun dun dun! And this one does have a removable helmet. Oops, and pop his legs off. Um, there you go. There's the head. And we can see his face scan. Again, looks great. Got the printing all the way down the front of uh, his costume. And then the main difference I only saw was that the uh, the pink around the eyes is actually a bit darker in the official Lego. Is it? Yeah. Uh, let's see the back side. Is there any printing on the back? His yeah, cape his looks scars good. On the back. Do what? His scars are on the back. Oh, under the cape. Let's see. Oh, oh yeah. Scars on the back of the head. That's really good. And under the cape. And just a plain yeah. black. Okay. Very awesome. I don't know if it's just me, but for some reason, I think Lego puts something on the back. They might. But also, uh, for Vader, you could kind of see the... Don't be a little... uh, there you go. Uh, so, I don't know if you can see it, because they had the angle, but uh, there are actually some holes on the side of Vader's helmet. Yeah, you can see... Um, oops. Let me see here. Yeah, I can turn it then. You can see a slight little crack. Um, and of course, we're just splitting hairs here on the corners where you can kind of see his face through there just a little bit on this, um, I guess, Le Pen version. And also, I did, but, I did notice something about the 501st Trooper that might, that might also show some flags that's fake is because uh, I was trying to sit him up there and he was actually kind of difficult to put him up there. Okay, so yeah, the mold on the bottom might be just a little bit off. But anyhow... All right, folks. Well, this will wrap it up for our um, Vader's Castle review, set number 05152, whichever way you decide to go. Uh, Le Pen, AliExpress, or, you know, the Lego store. Uh, but either way, I, this is a great set. So, so me and Tia do come to find uh, something out about, the, about Le Pen after this, um, is that... Uh, um, most of the time, do not trust them with building a TIE fighter. <laughs> right, Dan? Yes, apparently, yeah, right. Their TIE fighter building skills are very poor. <laughs> but as far as the castle goes, we absolutely love it. He's going to be great with our Star Wars section. That's what we're going to be working on next, is building us a Star Wars, or Lego Star Wars, um, table. Yeah. To kind of get all our we'll, uh, stuff organized and into one and the, kind of place. And we'll get that on review, too. Yeah, as soon as we get it done, we'll get it on review. And this will definitely be out there. Uh, in our little Mustafar section. I think we also got the um, uh, Anakin versus Obi-Wan. Yeah, pretty sure that might have actually been one of our first Lego videos ever, actually. Wow, it may have been. So, yeah, uh, once we get that done, we'll have him out there. And uh, we'll look forward to checking it all out once everything's together so take care everybody anything else to add big nope okay guys in this video maybe sub okay let me get Vader situated here okay okay guys in this video maybe subscribe to biggie dad tv for some more awesome um star wars and darth vader awesomeness fun bye bye, -bye.